Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a keychain just like this one. So first of all, you'll need a blank workspace and one of these boxes. You'll make the box smaller and longer, so you can set your own dimensions. These are given in millimeters. Uh, to get the lettering, you click on the basic shapes, go down to text and numbers, where you have all the letters. There's also a second page. We have the rest of them and along with numbers if you want to add those in. So for right now I'll just be using test. So T can get an S an e, and a another T. Then you want to align them to make sure they're all straight. So I'm just gonna do that quickly now can of course if you want to put them in a different way and you want to select all of them and group them together as one big shape so you can move them around all at the same time then elevate them up five millimeters because that's the height of this basic outline and just put them somewhere off a bit to the right then you want to go back to your basic shapes get a box and one of these cylinders that are a hole, uh, then you want to combine them and get another box and put it right in the middle and group these together again so you can make the rounded edges of the keychain. Then these ones you make into a hole so that it will remove parts. Then uh, this one will be for on the very right so I'll rotate it and uh, I will quickly make a copy of that. So you can just do that through copy pasting, control C, control V, then rotate that this way. That will go on to here. Just make sure that fits all around. That right, does. Then this one will go on to here. I'm going to make sure that all fits. So that appears like it does. Then a cylinder up here to make the hole where you can attach the keychain, of course. Then you can just reduce that down to like approximately 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters. Of course, you can have it be as big or as small as you want it to be. Uh, I'll move it in a bit. So, and move this also in a bit. You can just move items with arrow keys. And then, of course, make that fit. Then you can select these, group them together and select this one at least over here group them together oh, that's, that's that might happen so if that happens you can just undo that action it's like this you can make it more precise and then just move that over a tiny tiny bit and then recombine them and there we go that's a basic keychain and if it's too thick for you you can obviously make it smaller like this or just leave it like that should be fine and that's all